Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today I'd like to look at six reasons it's okay to go bananas for bananas. Bananas are one of the most widely consumed fruits in the world. One medium-sized banana provides about 105 calories. They are rich in fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients. The energy-boosting nutrients in bananas are a great way to start your day. They are inexpensive, easy to consume, and can be sliced or frozen to make delicious treats. There are six reasons to go bananas for bananas, but moderation is always key. Let's look at number one. Bananas aid your digestive system in a variety of ways. They contain two types of fiber, pectin and resistant starch. Pectin helps with digestion and resistant starch provides beneficial bacteria for your gut. Dr. Tom O'Brien recommends bananas as one food to help heal the gut lining. And this is really important after chemotherapy. Bananas help to ease constipation and green bananas actually help correct diarrhea. They can also be used as a natural and acid by creating a coating on the lining of the stomach to guard against excess acids. Some doctors recommend bananas for patients with Barrett's esophagus. And Barrett's esophagus is a condition caused by acid reflux. So check with your doctor. Number two. Bananas are beneficial for heart and kidney health. They're a great source of potassium and magnesium, both of which are needed for heart health. Potassium itself is also beneficial for maintaining healthy kidneys and preventing kidney stones. Potassium regulates circulation, sodium, and water retention in the body and it helps to lower blood pressure, something we all need as we get older. However, if you are on a beta blocker for heart disease, consume bananas in moderation. Again, check with your doctor. Number three, bananas create a healthy source of energy while satisfying our sweet tooth. No wonder athletes use bananas to restore energy before or after a workout. I just got back from a walk. They provide natural energy superior to sports drinks and sugary bars when you need a lift. And bananas can be used as a natural way to sweeten a smoothie or in baking to replace butter, oils, and sugar. And yes, I use them every day. The pectin combined with resistant starch helps control blood sugar for healthy individuals. Those with blood sugar issues, however, must use them in moderation and opt for bananas that are less ripe. Unripe bananas have a glycemic index of 30 and up to 60 for ripe. The glycemic load is only though 11 to 13 in the medium range. Foods with a low glycemic load help blood sugar levels stay consistent. Unripe bananas actually improve insulin sensitivity. If you crave sugar, eat a banana. This guilt-free option will satisfy your cravings while the fiber makes you feel full and can possibly help you with weight loss. Let's look at number four, which is related to number three. Bananas may modulate insulin sensitivity. It's the resistant starch in foods such as bananas that have the potential to improve insulin sensitivity as proven in a study. Although more studies need to be done in this areas, again, bananas must be consumed in moderation for those with either type one or type two diabetes. I'm one of those people that has to be careful. The resistant starch slows down glucose absorption and in some people, may not cause a spike in blood sugar. Number five, bananas reduce stress and enhance mood. 
According to Dr. Josh Axe, bananas contain an amino acid called tryptophan, also found in Turkey, which is used to produce our happy hormones, such as serotonin. They also contain antioxidants that help with the release of dopamine in the brain. So the amounts of both potassium and magnesium may reduce symptoms of stress and anxiety. All right, here we go, number six. This may surprise you. Bananas can raise your immune system. LifeScience.com claims that bananas can help you fight off common infections. It's the bananas that are ripe that are eight times more effective in enhancing the power of white blood cells. Surprise, surprise. And like all fruits, bananas contain good amounts of vitamin C. Since bananas are grown high up away from pests and animals and have a thick peel, they are low in pesticide residue. So you don't have to worry about eating these organic. The sleep doctor, Dr. Michael Bruce, recommends making a banana tea from the steeping of the banana peel in water as a sleep aid. And again, these frozen bananas are a wonderful treat for kids on a stick. You can dip it in chocolate too. And there's never any reason to waste these delicacies because they can be frozen and used in smoothies or made into a dairy-free, sugar-free ice cream. Try that one, it's good. I've just given you six reasons why we should go bananas for bananas. And when the Brandt family is all together, it's hard to keep an ample supply in the house. If I didn't know better, I think we were just a bunch of monkeys. We eat at least one daily. And then comes the question, who ate the last banana? Are you using this easy, affordable staple in your diet? And who is the person in your family who always eats the last banana. It's actually a crime in our family, and I'll tell you why. I use one banana every day to sweeten my chocolate blueberry banana smoothie. And if anyone takes the last banana, they are in trouble. And that recipe for that smoothie will be referenced below because it's very, very popular. It's gut building. It's immune enhancing. It's great for your brain. It's cancer fighting. It's good for your heart. It's just so many things wrapped up in one smoothie and it tastes great. So do look at the reference below on that video. Until then, it's okay to go bananas for bananas.